the array that we're going to, um, as we build the point helpers, we're going to throw them in there so we have a collection of them in order. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, loop through um, all of the uh, joints in the current selection in order, and we're going to create a point helper for each one, and we're going to align it to it so it's all uh, they're in the right spot. Now, this also, again, is going to require us to make sure that we select the joints in the right order. You can't just go and select them in any order like this because um, it would probably make a, quite a mess of it. You need to pick them in, in an order. And again, that's just a matter of double-clicking on the, uh, the root joint and having it pick down the chain, and it'll set it all up for us. So the next thing to do is to loop through it, and we're just going to use uh, for x in selection do. And we're going to create uh, point helpers and append them. So I'm just going to copy and paste this out of here just to make it real easy, and then just describe what we've done. The command point will create a point, and then you can send the parameters to it. Now what we can do is we can actually um, check and see what all those parameters are real easily. Uh, one, you can check the help file. Two, we can make a point object and find out um, uh, what the parameters are. So let's actually just run this one line of code. I'm going to go shift enter on that line of code. And you can see it put a point helper right here. And what we're going to do is in the um, listener, we're going to uh, say show and dollar sign for the currently selected object, which is that point helper. And what it does is it shows us the, uh, the different uh, parameters that we can pass to the point as we build it. And so we've got size, uh, center market, axis, tripod, cross, box, and you'll notice those com uh, correspond with what is in the uh, modify panel uh, by default. So we have some of those added in here. We've got center marker false, axis tripod false, cross false, box, so it's just going to show up as a box. And we've set a wire color to it, so uh, each one of these is going to be a specific color. Uh, in this case, they're going to be red, and um, so that we're going to sort of color code all our point helpers, because by the time we're finished this rig, we're going to have a lot of point helpers. Uh, we're going to have point helpers on top of point helpers. And it's best to color code them so you sort of know which point helpers are um, being used for which things. So the next thing uh, the code does then, um, and by the way, it makes the point helper just, it makes a variable for, to hold that point helper while it's working on it. It then sets uh, the transform of the uh, point helper to be equal to the bone that we're looping through. So, so as we loop through, x becomes equal to the first thing in the, sele in the selection, first object, and it builds the point helper, and then makes the transform, so the position, rotation, and scale equal to that of the bone so it's going to pop that point helper right to that bone. And then it appends this array and adds the uh, point helper that we've built into this array. And it's just going to fill this array up with any of the point helpers that we've made. And so the next step, go back to our rig here so we can see it. Um, what we need to do is we need to create, in this case, the uh, setup of constraints. So What's going to happen is each joint gets um, position constrained to the point helper that was built in, and aligned to it. So we're going to start with another loop. This time we're going to uh, use a different type of loop. This is an iterative loop, and we're going to go with the uh, index loop. And this index loop says, uh, for x and selection do, uh, for, sorry, for i equals 1 to selection dot count do, as opposed to um, for x and selection do. We don't actually need this set of brackets. Uh, I think I changed a piece of code earlier when I was uh, originally writing it. And then what we need to do is we need to set up um, our constraint. We'll, st we'll start with our position constraint. Uh, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to write all of this, I actually, first thing I set up is I just make this um, the object that we're getting access to, so the bone that we're getting access to, equal to b, just to make the rest of it easier to write. So for i equals 1 to selection dot count, so selection i will be equal to each iteration of the joint, as it, uh, the bones as we go through them, and they'll become equal to b, essentially. They'll be uh, represented by b. Next thing we need to do is we need to make a position constraint. And what we can do is we can make an instance of the position constraint. Um, and I'm just going to say poscon equals 
position.